This is Twit. Uh, Ron, it is your turn. I have yours installed. Tell us about cool. it. Cool. Excellent. Yeah. No, so folks, for the long, long time viewers and people who follow me know that I'm really I really do enjoy movies as a as a medium. Um, and I'm always looking for a good app to help me track movies and keep track of the movies I want to see, as well as get insight on the movies that are out and things like that. Came across this app, which hasn't which is weird. I don't quite understand the unreleased status in the Google Play Store, but uh, Cinetrack uh, is in the Google Play Store and the title says Cinetrack Your Movie Diary parentheses unreleased but you can download it so to me that seems like it's released so i don't quite understand that if they're li they're listed in google's early access program but uh this is a great material design heavily material design design app that allows you to browse movies both that are out in theaters as well as that are out on you know dvd or blu-ray or whatnot and basically lets you you know kind of get you know get kind of imdb like information as far as the cast but if you scroll up a little above that ad uh unfortunately um you can see See there, here's what here's where the real power of this comes in is that um, it's directly connected to the tracked.tv community, which is a you know kind of another kind of user generated ratings. But there, next to the tracked.tv community, you've got the Rotten Tomato score, you've got the IMDb score, and you've got the Metacritic score. So if you're looking to get a sense of how good a movie is, those are really you know Rotten Tomatoes, IMDb, and Metacritic are the three places I always check. It's great to see them all in one place. Um, so you get all this information about movies, but then what you can do with, with uh, Cinetrack is you can you can keep track of the movies you've seen. So if you kind of scroll up, there should be an action uh, uh, action button to add or, to it. I don't know where where I see that on my app. I don't know why you don't see it on yours. But um, but basically you can you can tell you can tell movies that you've seen it right. Um, it go back possibly or whatnot. Anyway, um, yeah, I don't know quite what I see, but you so oh maybe because I'm logged in. If you're not yeah, logged in, you can't. I'm not logged do that. in. That's the yep. that's the difference. That's okay, there it is. Once you're logged in, each movie has a floating action button where you can add it to your list and say whether you've seen it or not. You can give it your own personal rating, and then there's all sorts of um data that they keep track. So it keeps track of how many hours of movies you've seen, what genres you like. It's all this kind of you know, all, we're all data nerds now. It's fantastic to get kind of like our viewing habits tracked really closely um, in terms of what movies we watch. So it's pretty cool. The only thing I wish it had was I wish it had a little bit of like Just Watches functionality where for movies that aren't in the theaters that might be available online, what services I can get them on. Um, but hopefully they'll add that down the road as this is a early access uh, app. But the design is great. I've been using Flickster for years, and the design of that is so old and broken, and and all that sort of stuff. I don't care. I like care less about about uh, movie times and more about just whether or not you know what the ratings are and what you know whether or not I should see something or not. Um, and this design is just great. They did a great job in this app. So it's Cinetrack, your movie diary, great material design. If you're into movies, this is a great place to keep track of your movie viewing. Uh, and so there you go. And at least for me, I can't tell you how many times I hear about a movie and I'm like, oh, I want to see that. And then I'm getting older. It just goes in one ear out the other. Yeah. So it's nice to have somewhere keeping track of like, OK, I want to see this movie. I want to see this movie. And then saying, OK, yes, I saw it. And then being able to remember what I thought of it. So mm, do not was, see the mummy. What was the, yeah, what was the Rotten Tomatoes on Ooh, the mummy? 17 percent. Not good. Oh, not man. good at all. Oh, so see, they needed yeah. to release that movie without the music score and just the sound yeah. effects and fully. If they had done yeah. that, it, they would have <laughs> had a winner. Yeah. Um, cool. I like the layout of this a lot. And then you've got yeah, it's really really good. Here. Really impressive. Really impressed me. So and also you you notice that there are a lot of ads in the app. Uh, if you sign up for an account, there is an in-app purchase to um, – you can do that there. You get premium access down at the bottom, and they've got different levels. It takes away all the ads. It adds in a bunch of curated lists, and you can choose the level you want to support at. You know, we're starting at 299 going all the way up to quite a bit. And the app is funded by you know the the users, and they may do make a point of that. And at a certain level, kind of like, kind of like uh, Kickstarter and other things like that, if you go at the twenty dollar or higher, your your name is actually in the credits for the app, which is pretty cool as a contributors cool. list. Yeah, so pretty cool. So yeah, nice. Cinetrack, very cool. Cinetrack, your movie diary. All right.